Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be checking out Bruno Fernandez's team of the year. Yes boys, Bruno Fernandez team of the year. This guy looks absolutely, absolutely uh, insane. We are back with another review guys, another review for all of you, the beautiful people at home. Bruno Fernandez 5.7 mil. What the heck is that price man? 5.7 mil. We're going to be seeing if this guy's the best center man in FIFA. Uh, 21 ultimate team, team of the year, obviously four star, four star, high, high. Look at those stats, man. 90 pace, 97 dribbling, 97 shooting, 98 passing, 82 defending, and 87 physical. When we look at the traits, he's got solid player trait, flare trait, uh, long passer trait, penalty kicker trait, long shot taker, playmaker, penalty drawer trait, and outside the foot shot traits. So we've got eight traits on his card. Uh, they look absolutely incredible. 91 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, 99 attack positioning, 94 finishing, uh, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 99 volleys, 99 penalties. Uh, he's got 98 short passing, 97 long passing, 98 reactions, 99 ball control, 97 dribbling, 98 composure, 90 agility, 90 balance. He's also got 99 stamina with 81 strength. So crazy stats all around the park with this guy. His defensive stats are crazy. I think preferred position, left, right, center, mid, even Cam with this card, man. He's good enough to play Cam. Uh, it's a crazy, crazy card. High, high is also really nice. Uh, to have at the camp position. So it's really what you guys want to do with this card uh, and where you want to play it. It's up to you guys. But generally, I think with Bruno, he's the best position in a box-to-box -box center mid. A 4-4-2 is really ideal for a Bruno Fernandez type of card. We're giving him the engine because we're going to test him out a bit in the first half up top. But I think if you're going to play this box-to-box, -box, I think a shadow is really nice because you get the defensive boost all the way up. Uh, or even an anchor if you want to boost the physical even more. So we got him in our little Prem team today. A little Man United team too. We got Bisaka in there, McTominay. And we'll be testing him out in this squad. If you guys enjoy it, please toss a thumbs up. We're losing a lot of coins on tax this weekend to try these players for you guys. And we're grinding like crazy, man. We we have so many reviews on the channel. If you're clicking on this video, you haven't seen any of the other guys. We, we've got Ribery, Dybala, Ronaldo, Mbappe, Suarez. Just check them out, man. They're all on the channel. We're grinding like crazy for you guys. Um, and I appreciate all the support that you guys are giving and, and sending our way. We, I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. He's in with a chance. Despite being clean through, he's uh -huh. missed it. Aguero. Could take the lead. A moment's peace. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. Oh! Was that a Meg? Damn, that was dirty. You guys saw that? Untidy in possession. Mares. Oh. Mane. On to Bruno Fernandes. Chalidou, Koribali. All right, so he's not tier one responsive. I don't know what his dribbling stats are. Uh, he doesn't have, like, Messi, Puskas, Maradona responsiveness. Oh, Bruno, go for the pen, man. Why didn't you go for the pen? I don't even know what those subs are, Grand Camo. Oh, that was an insane shot. What the heck? Wow, Bruno with the tackle. Oh, this is just prime Bruno. Prime Bruno. And we choke it. A great play from Bruno, man. So hard to score sometimes, too. He's thrown it straight to the opposition. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Wow, holy shit. All right, well, he still has the ball. A little sticky in there. A little play for the badge. Bruno Fernandes has it. Pretty responsive, man. And back with Bruno Fernandes. So a constable's move this. Bruno Fernandes. Pen ref. And still looking Pen for Bruno ref. Pen. Penalty for Bruno. That doesn't look like a tough team. Thank you, Derek. An opportunity for our host to move up the world rankings, playing some brilliant football. Hopefully they can keep that trend going and their fans will go home. Begins in goal. Joe Gomez starts with Davinson Sanchez in the middle of the defense. Oh, big chance. Bruno. Bruno. Give me a celebration, Bruno. No celebration, man. He skipped the replay. 
Oh, that strength, man. Dude. This guy has incredible strength, man. And his runs are so good. Wow. Oh my god, this dribbling is crazy, man. Just a lion's share of possession. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Ref! No pay. He's not calling ever since, man, you got the first. The ref isn't calling any fouls for Bruno. What is this? I wanted to test the weak of finesse there, so not great. Andrew Robertson has lost the ball. Aguero finds the avenue of attack. But will there be an end product from him? Oh man, Bruno! Bruno! Alright, this is definitely the best team of the year card I've tried so far. This dude is totally, totally insane. Hate to say it. The Ronaldo and Bappies were nuts, but they were not that different than their other informs. This guy is a fucking crazy player, man. Something of a route. Oh my gosh. This guy needs to rage quit. Have I tried the player of the month 92? I've tried the headliners. Bruno! Where's the dip? Alright chat, so far, two games in, sensational. Bruno is sensational. What a fucking player. I actually wish I bought this guy for 6 mil. Defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon. I didn't need to pass that. I should have kept going. Bruno Fernandes. Can he find the angle? Ref! Ref! It's a foul for Bruno! Will there be an end product from him? Oh, what a save, man. All Black, the king. Bruno! Aguero missed! What? All right, penalty, man. Deserved, deserved, deserved. Deserved penalty. Deserved. Deserved, deserved, deserved. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, Lozano, man. That was far post. And you shot it there. Bruno Fernandes. There will be one minute added on at the end. Bruno Fernandes. Determined defending. Oh, that was a good ball. What's up, dude? Did you, did you qualify? How'd it go, man? How was war today, dude? Was it another day at the office? Oh, man, that was to Bruno. Uh, if we ever get, like, a team, like, some sort of, like, moments for that potence, it's going to be a super annoying card. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. The goalkeeper, look at that. It all falls on his shoulders. If he scores, they win. What? I didn't do that. And that okay, guys. So overall, Bruno Fernandes for me, this is the best team of the year card that I've tried out so far. The reason he's the best is because there's not anything wrong with this guy. There's really not anything wrong. I mean... The only thing that I thought was a little fraudulent was maybe the weak foot at moments because we have to pose with the weak foot, but this is just going to happen. It's FIFA things. This guy is incredible, man. As a center mid, as a cam, whatever you want to do, I think center mid, this guy is undefeated. Uh, best center mid in this game so far. I'm not going to say the best team of the year center mid ever because I have used some pretty nutty team of the years in the past from the central midfield position, but 
He's very, very good. Um, there's not much that this card lacks. This card is worth a lot. Uh, I, I use the headliners too, and I do feel like I noticed the boost with this card over the headliners. Whereas I told you guys with Ronaldo and Mbappe, I didn't really notice it. Now, we had five goals in four games with an assist, but I didn't really notice it with Mbappe. I, I, know, I noticed it, but I didn't notice the five million coin difference. Or with Ronaldo, the six million coin difference. I didn't notice those differences. So, for me, I really noticed it with Bruno. I thought this card was way better. I thought his physicals were incredible. His real acceleration and pace was crazy. I mean, to see that, these bursts of pace this guy was doing outside, out of the midfield was pretty crazy. So, yeah, generally, man, this card was incredible. It's got my full uh, recommendation for you guys. In terms of rating, I think the highest guy we ever gave so far was Prime Cruyff at 9.7 or 9.8. I think this dude is a 9.6, 9.7. Uh, just for the reason that there's not going to be a center mid, really, for the most part. This shit is going to be much better than this guy. I mean, he's really, really good. So, this is including value, guys. I think no matter what the price, this Bruno is incredible. Um, he's the best center mid. I really think this guy is better than a Hullet because his dribbling responsiveness is freaking unbelievable. Um, so very, very good in this game. Very, very impressed with Bruno Fernandez and has my total recommendation. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.